Hi everyone, I'm Jason Leach. I'm Scotland's National Clinical Director. And what a wonderful moment for Community Links to be able to celebrate years and years, nearly 20 years of service to the communities in South Lanarkshire. But a particular time, I think, to reflect on what your organisation and the individuals connected to it, whether those you serve or those in service have done in the last 18 months during an unprecedented period. Unless you were alive in the Spanish flu, which I imagine you weren't, then this has been a unique period in modern life, hasn't it? It's been unique for me, my family, but it's also, I'm sure, been unique for you. So I wanted to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for all that you do. Lanarkshire, of course, a little bit close to my heart, north mainly, rather than south, but we won't uh, make too much of that. And my family are still there. My church is still there. My friends are still there. And I, and I know what this has meant to families, to loved ones, to those who have lost loved ones in care homes, in homes, in hospitals all over the country. It's been a horrific and horrible time. I was asked to reflect a little bit on that period and what it's meant for communities and individuals. It's so difficult to summarize it in three or four minutes. But one of the ways we've looked at this pandemic is through a four harms approach and not to get too technical. It's one of the ways we've made the decisions. And I think Community Links can help in each of these spaces. So very quickly, harm number one is the straightforward COVID harm. So those who have had the disease, who have lost loved ones to the disease, it can be really, really distressing. About 10,000 families have been touched by mortality from this disease. Around the world, we think it's closer to 12 million people who have lost loved ones. But then there's also long COVID and other harms from the disease itself. So that's harm number one. And I think you probably know people either in your own families or in those you serve that have been touched by that. Harm number two is other health and social care harms. And this is when you come into your own, because one of them is mental health. And the mental health challenges that the restrictions, the lockdowns have brought. So in order to stop harm number one, we've of course caused harms elsewhere. It's like squeezing a balloon and another piece of the balloon pops out, isn't it? So those mental health harms, those challenges around people waiting for procedures, perhaps another health and social care harm, and those who have had to be in care homes during this period and not been able to see friends and relatives as we would like. So that's harm number two. Harm number three is social harm. And again, something that Community Links and the collaboration and partnership you've had with people, with organizations, with the health and social care system has been crucial. And this can be cooking and baking for relatives. It, it could be the mosque and Sikh temple, which are quite close to where I live now, and they made curries for hundreds of local residents during the pandemic. Or it could just be putting your phone number through somebody's door so that they know they can call on you if they need something done in service in, in their environment. That's social harm, loneliness, kids who have lost some education time. And I think community organizations and community connections are crucial to helping us with that. And then the fourth and final harm is economic harm. So the straight hard cash harm, people who have lost their jobs, people who have lost their businesses because of the restrictions and because of what we've had to do to protect people's health, the economic harms are real. People who had temporary jobs, drivers or delivery people or things that have had to really be put on hold. And more recently, the nighttime industries that have just restarted in pubs and clubs and other parts of the country. So those are the, those are the four harms through which the government and I and others have tried to advise and help. So the COVID harm, the health harms like mental health, the social harms of loneliness, of the difficulty with seeing each other and the economic harms. And I think Community Links is one of the organizations that's helped us in each of those four boxes. And I'm enormously grateful, as I know everybody in the Scottish government is, both for your organization and the many like it around the country. So I hope you have a, an interesting evening. I hope it goes well. And I hope it galvanizes you for more to come because we're not through this. It's not over. And there will be societal harms on an ongoing basis that we will absolutely need your help 
and partnership to help us resolve. So thank you very much. I look forward to perhaps coming in person if that's possible in the future. So thank you for all that you do.